ecstatic emotion. It's electrifying. Ayon, it's an emotion that is uh, very ecstatic and as well as uh, uh, electrifying emotion. Uh, I have not uh, been on any occasion where this emotion uh, has existed. It's the first time in my life and uh, I know uh, that my people and others from nearby this village has contributed a lot uh, in, in this endeavor for us to felt that impact of emotion. And I came from Sarawal. I travel with Pius, Dr. Pius Mao Piailuk Palulap of the Central Carolines on the Yap uh, area. And I felt I have learned a tremendous um, area on the canoe. I'm an avid uh, fisherman here on Saipan, and so I'm, I'm accustomed to rough weather and uh, hot sun. Uh, that didn't deter me. Uh, I felt uh, I needed to know what my ancestors have gone through. And I think I have that feeling. It's a feeling of, it's a, actually a spiritual feeling. And it, it enlightens my well-being. And I thought I should share this with my people here in Tanapak and others who have contributed uh, toward this success and to my children. The, oh, sure. the travel itself is about 473 miles from Sarawal to Saipan. We have experienced some difficulties on um, two of our canoes. The Naaman uh, uh, cracked a hull, uh, started out at three feet. By the time we get to Rhoda, uh, it, uh, it showed five, uh, f five foot crack. Uh, the Simeon Hokolea uh, cracked a, a boom and uh, those needed uh, to be repaired on Rhoda. And that's um, the prime reason why we had to uh, call on Rhoda to make those necessary repair. How did it feel after all the years of hearing stories about Sadawal to be finally sitting in the man's house on the beach there with, with Papa Mount? That's a, a feeling that um, can only be experienced when you go to Sadawal and when you sit down with uh, Mao. Uh, Mao has tremendous knowledge, not only on the ancient navigation, but things that you need to do on a canoe. The, the diet that we had to go through, the mental conditioning that we had to go through, the physical conditioning uh, is way beyond my understanding. Uh, I, I couldn't really fathom it that if I was to sit here on Saipan and uh, thought about uh, those who have gone through these voyages. I thought this is an experience that uh, would be very difficult uh, to duplicate. What do you think it'll mean to your community here on Saipan to now have a larger voyaging canoe? What, what difference do you think that'll make? I, I think since this is the first time um, uh, six canoes uh, call on the shores of Tanapak, uh, again I felt uh, that this feat uh, will probably not duplicate for many, many years to come. Uh, it's an experience that will probably have to work extra hard to bring six canoes again in the next 20, maybe 30 years. What's it been like uh, the last few days being here in, in the village, uh, in the men's house with all of the voyagers? Has it been... uh, that's a whole new experience again. The, our men's house uh, is just constructed and it's for the first time again that this men's house is constructed in many, many years. And, and the feeling has kind of brought back the, the uh, people together. 
uh, in the past we, we've experienced uh, our closeness uh, and, and it's called family extended uh, system uh, and has began to deteriorate it. Uh, at the moment we arrive on the shores of Tanapak, that has changed. A lot of our people has begun to congregate, to come and share, uh, just like 25, 30 years ago, share their food, uh, share their thoughts, uh, share their happiness with us. I, I thought that we have brought them uh, a revival of our culture through this millennium, the year 2000.